we're reading the Krishna book and we're on the story, chapter number 55, Prajumna born to Krishna and Rukmini. Mm. All right, so we heard in the previous chapter how Krishna got married to Rukmini. So now we're going to hear how they had a child. But they had some problems. Okay, so uh, it, is, it is said, the chapter begins, it, it is said that Cupid is part and parcel of Lord Vasudev. And previously, he, Cupid had been burned to ashes because of the anger of Lord Shiva. So after he was burned to ashes by the anger of Lord Shiva, he had he took birth again in the womb of Rukmini. And that meant Krishna was the father, Rukmini was the mother. So Cupid is also known as Kamadev, and he's a demigod in the heavenly planets. And he can cause people to get lusty desires. So we should understand that Lord Krishna has many different parts and parcels. And among the parts and parcels, there is the quadruple expansion of Krishna, which is called the Chaturvyuha, and they come as Vasudev, Sankarshan, Prajumna, and Aniruddha. So these four personalities, Vasudev, Sankarshan, Prajumna and Aniruddha are all different forms of Lord Vishnu. But when when Cupid Cupid became when Cupid took birth from the womb of Rukmini, he was also named Prajumna, but he was not Vishnu, he's not like the Vishnu. Yeah, the Prajumna who was born in the womb of Rukmini, he was like he was in the category of the jivas, means the, the ordinary living entities like us. We are also jivas. But Vishnu is like God. So there's Jiva Tattva and there's Vishnu Tattva. So this Prajumna was a Jiva 
he was in the jiva category, but he had special power because he was a demigod. And he was also a part and parcel of the of of the prajumna who is a part who is Vishnu. So he had some of the powers of the Vishnu. So that's what the Goswamis, the Goswamis of Vrindavan, they say like that. So what happened was when Cupid got burned to ashes by the anger of Lord Shiva, then he entered into the body of Vasudev. And in order to get another body again, he took birth in the womb of Rukmini by Lord Krishna. So he was the son of Krishna and he got the name Prajumna. And because he was Krishna's own son, he had many qualities which were just like those of Krishna. However, there was one demon whose name was Shambhar, and he was he heard that this Prajumna is going to kill him. So this Shambhara demon knew about his future and when he heard that, the, when he heard that the Prajumna was going to kill him and, and then he heard that Prajumna had taken birth, so he thinks how to get rid of this child who's going to kill him. So, so the demon took the shape of a woman, he changed his form, he had mystic powers, so he changed himself to look like a woman, and then he came to the house where Krishna's, where Rukmini had the baby, and he kidnapped the baby from their house. And the baby was only a few days old. So the demon took the baby and then went and just threw him into the sea. But it said, if Krishna wants to kill someone, nobody can save him, and if Krishna wants someone to live, no one can kill him. So when Prajumna, when the baby got thrown into the sea, there was a big fish swallowed him. And then that fish got caught in the net of a fisherman. And the man, the fisherman who caught the fish, he sold that fish to the demon Shambhar. 
บ้านตัวนั้นที่เอ่อชาวประมงที่จับปลาตัวนั้นได้เนี่ยก็ไปขายปลาตัวนี้เนี่ยให้กับเอ่อมานที่ชื่อว่าชัมบา And then that demon Shambhar, he had a a woman working in his kitchen, whose name was Maya Vati. She was cooking some rice and dal. Her job was like that to cook the rice and dal. แล้วก็หน้าที่ของนางก็คือนางจะทำข้าวสารแล้วก็ทำแกงถั่วเหลือง So this woman Mayavati, she had been the wife of Cupid previously, and previously her name was Rati. แล้วในอดีตเนี่ยนางเนี่ยคือเป็นมเหสีชื่อว่าราติ So the fish was given. By the demon, the fish bought the demon bought the fish and he brought it home and he gave it to his cook to make a to cook the fish for him. Because the demons and the rakshasas they like to eat meat, fish, and non-vegetarian food. And even demons who are born in Brahmana families, like Ravan and Haranyakashipu, they were born. They were born and and uh, and Kamsa. They were born in families of Brahmana and Kshatriya, but they used to eat meat and fish. แล้วก็ถึงแม้ว่าจะเป็นพวกมารที่เกิดในตระกูลพรางก็แล้วแต่อย่างเช่นราวนาคชิปีราวนาหรือว่าเฮเลนกาชิปูอะไรอย่างเงี้ยพวกเขาเนี่ยก็จะกินเนื้อสัตว์แบบนี้ So people who eat these non-vegetarian foods, these are usually people who are like demons or rakshasas. งานบุคคลที่ไม่รับประทานอาหารมันสบิลัตเนี่ยจะชอบกินเนื้อสัตว์เนี่ยพวกเขาก็เหมือนเป็นมารหรือเป็นราชาสัตว์ So the cook was given the fish and then when he cut the fish up, then he found within the stomach of the fish he found a little baby. แต่ว่าในขณะที่เอ่คนทำอาหารเนี่ยกำลังตัดปลาหั่นปลาอยู่เนี่ยปรากฏว่าเขาจะเห็นว่ามีทารกน้อยอยู่ในท้องอยู่ในคันปลา So he immediately took the baby out from the fish, and he gave it to Mayavati. He gave it to that woman who was his assistant in the kitchen. So of course, the woman was very surprised to see the little baby, how it could still be alive and could be in the belly of a fish. แล้วนางก็รู้สึกประหลาดใจมากว่าเด็กเนี่ยมียังมีชีวิตอยู่ได้ไงแล้วก็อาศัยอยู่ในท้องปลาแบบนี้ได้ But then Narada Muni came to that woman. Narada Muni came to this Mayavati and he told her that about he told her about how this baby had taken birth, how it was actually Prajumna, and how. The baby had been taken away by the demon and thrown into the sea and swallowed by the fish. So when. Maya Vati, she knew that she had been the wife of Cupid previously, and at that time, when she was the wife of Cupid, her name was Rati. But 
But then her husband, Cupid, got burned to ashes by the anger of Lord Shiva. So she was always expecting, she was waiting for her husband to come back to take another birth in a material form. So she got this little baby and she understood that it was actually her own husband who was Cupid. So she took care of the baby very nicely and she would bathe him and very quickly the baby grew up and within a short time he became a very beautiful young man. His eyes were just like the lotus flower petals. And he had long arms down to his knees. And all the women who saw him, they were very attracted by his bodily features. So Mayavati, she understood that her, for her old husband was now born as Prajumna and he'd grown into a nice young man. So he was so handsome and she became attracted by him and she became lusty for him. And she expressed her desire to have some relationship with him. So Prajumna was surprised. He thought, well, in the beginning, how is it possible? He said, you were my mother. You were like, you were my mother. And now you say you want to be like my wife. And you're behaving like a lusty woman. What is the reason for this change? So then this Mayavati, whose name is also was previously Rati, she said to him that you are, you are the son of Lord Krishna. And when you were ten days, before you were even ten days old, you were stolen by a demon, this Sambara demon. And he threw you into the water and you got swallowed by a fish. And that's how you came here. But actually, in your past life, you were Cupid and I was your wife. So when I desire to have loving relationship with you, it's not wrong because we're husband and wife. And that demon Sambar, he wanted to kill you. And he has many mystic powers. 
แล้วก็ซัมบาเนี่ยเป็นมารแล้วก็เขาเนี่ยอยากจะสังหารท่านแล้วเขาเนี่ยมีพลังอำนาจมากเลย So before he tries to kill you again, you should kill him with your powers. When you were stolen by the demon, then your mother Rukmini was very sad. And she's like a kurari bird who has lost all her babies. So she naturally she is your mother. She's very attached to you. And now she's living. She's like a cow who has lost her calf. So this Mayavati, she had mystic powers. Mayavati, เนี่ยมีความรู้ในอิทธิฤทธิ์แห่งพลังที่เหนือธรรมชาติ So these powers are also called. They're known as Maya. And to overcome these powers, there's something called Maha Maya. So Ma, this Maya Vati, she. Had the mystic powers, and she also knew this Mahamaya, and she gave it to Prajumna. Mm. And so Prajumna could use this mystic power to defeat the powers of the Shambara demon. So Prajumna came before Shambara, and he challenged him to fight. And he he used very heavy, strong language to make the demon very angry, so that he would come to fight. And Prajumna spoke words so that the demon got insulted. Just like if you, if you, if you kick a snake. Then the snake gets very angry and will bite you. The snakes don't like to be anybody to kick them, so if you do anything like that, they will attack you. So this demon, when he heard Prajumna, it was just like a kick to him. He got very angry. So he took his club in his hand, and he came before Prajumna to fight. He was very angry. And using his club, he began to beat Prajumna, just like a thunderbolt beats a mountain. But Prajumna protected himself with his own club. And 
And he hit back, he hit the demon back very hard. But this Samba demon, he also had mystic powers. And by his mystic power, he raised himself into the sky, up into the air. And he began to fight from outer space. And there is one demon of the name Maya, and that demon had given many of the powers to this Sambara demon. So he raised himself up into the air and he began to drop different types of weapons onto the body of Prajumna. So Prajumna, he had to use his mystic power. He used a power called Mahavidya. The demon was using black mystic power. But Prajumna, his mystic power was based on the quality of goodness. So the demon knew that Prajumna was a great fighter. He knew it was going to be difficult to defeat him. So the demon Sambar took help from other demons. He got help from the, the Guyakas and the Gandharvas and the Pishachas, the snakes and the Rakshasas. So the demon showed his all of his mystic power and he had great strength. But Prajumna's power was greater and he had the the, the topmost power, the Mahavidya power, which defeated the demon. So in everything, the demon was defeated by Prajumna. So then Prajumna took his sword and he cut off the demon's head. And when Prajumna killed the demon, all the demigods in the higher planets, they dropped flowers on him. So then Prajumna's wife, Mayavati, she could travel in outer space. So by her, by her powers, she brought Prajumna with her and they went to Dwarka. They went to Dwarka because that's Prajumna's father, Lord Krishna's capital. So they were in the air and they, ca they came above the palace of Lord Krishna and they came down just like a cloud comes down with lightning. 
แล้วก็จนไปถึงที่ที่บ้านของกฤษณะแล้วเนี่ยก็ทั้งคู่ก็ลอยตัวลงมาซึ่งเหมือนกับหมูแม่ที่ลอยตัวลงมา And they came down on the all the in the inside of the palace where all the private apartments were, where all the the wives of Krishna, the lady, different ladies were there. So Prajumna, along with his wife Mayavati, they came there and they could see all these women. And when these women saw Prajumna, they thought he was Krishna. Because he was dressed in yellow cloth, and he had very long arms and curling hair. And beautiful reddish eyes and smiling face. And he had he was he had jewelry and ornaments on him also. So they all thought he's Krishna. They all felt they felt very embarrassed, a little uncomfortable, to suddenly in the presence of Krishna, and they wanted to hide. But gradually, they understood that he couldn't be Krishna because they saw some things different between Krishna and Prajumna. So when they understood it wasn't Krishna, then they came back to see who he was and who is the who is the lady with him. They were puzzled because he was so good looking, so attractive. They wondered who could he be. And one of the ladies who was thinking who like this was Rukmini. Rukmini, she because she's also very beautiful, and she also has beautiful lotus eyes. And when she saw Prajumna, she remembered she thought about her own son, and milk began to flow from her breasts. Just like when the mother thinks of her child, then her milk will flow out from her breasts. So Rukmini was wondering, who is this very handsome, beautiful young boy? Who is the fortunate young woman who could give birth? <coughs> yeah. Who is the fortunate young woman who could conceive this child in her womb and become his mother? And who is the young woman who is with him? 
แล้วหญิงสาวที่มาอยู่กับเขาด้วยที่มากับเขาด้วยเนี่ยเป็นใคร How did they meet? And Rukmini was thinking about her own son, who had been stolen when he was only a few days old. And Rukmini thought that my son must be living somewhere, and he must have grown. To be like this boy. And Rukmini could understand that maybe this boy, Prajumna, was her own son, her lost son. And she could see that Prajumna looked like Krishna in so many ways. So she began to think that this boy must be her own grown-up son. And Rukmini was; she felt so much affection for him. And even her left arm was trembling, which is a very auspicious sign. So, and just at that moment, then Lord Krishna came there along with his mother and father, Vasudev and Tivaki. So Krishna is the supreme personality of Godhead. He knows everything. But he didn't say anything. He kept quiet. Then, by the desire of Lord Krishna, the great sage Narada appeared. And when Narada came. Then he told everyone what happened, how Prajumna had been stolen when he was a little baby. And then how he had been thrown in the sea and swallowed by the fish. And then he was given to the cook, and he came out from the body of the fish, and the cook gave the body of the baby to Mayavati, who had been his wife in previous life. Because Mayavati, she had her name and previously was Rati, and she was the wife of Cupid. So they told everyone about how Prajumna had disappeared, and how he had grown up. So everyone was very surprised that they got back their dead son. Because this happened, he didn't come back. It took several many years before he came back. He'd already grown up. And they were thinking that he may never come, but that he's gone. They'll never see the baby again. His baby's gone, stolen. So they don't know. 
ังพวกเขาก็คาดการไม่มีความหวังแล้วเพราะว่าเด็กก็โดนรับพาตัวไปแล้วมันหลายปีมากแล้วทุกคนก็ไม่คิดว่าจะมีโอกาสที่จะได้เจออีก So when he understood that now p r i n c h u m n a had come back, they were so happy. They were they received him with great honor, great delight. And all the members of the family came and embraced him and his wife. d e v a k i Vasudev, Lord Krishna, and Lord Balaram and Rukmini, and all the women of the family, they all came. They embraced Prajumna and his wife Mayavati. So all the people in the city of Dwarka they got the news that Prajumna had come back. They were all astonished. And everybody came. They all wanted to see Prajumna. They said the dead son has now come back. So there can be nothing more pleasing than this. And Sukadeva Goswami, he explains that in the beginning, all the ladies in the palace, they were all. Mothers and stepmothers of Prajumna. So when Prajumna came back, they mis- they thought he must be Krishna. They they were seeing. They thought he's Krishna, but actually it was Prajumna. So when they thought it was Krishna, naturally they all had desire to enjoy, you know, love with him, and they felt a little embarrassed. But then, when they understood it, he wasn't Krishna; he was Krishna's son. Then they could think of him as their son. So, Prajumna's appearance was just like Krishna's. He was just—he was actually—he was Cupid, but he looked like Krishna. So it's not surprising when all the mothers of Prajumna and the other women, when they all made the mistake, it was not a surprise. I said, Prajumna's body features were so much like Krishna that even Krishna's own, even even Krish, uh, even uh, Prajumna's own mother Rukmini, she could she mistook him for Krishna. So Rukmini was the first wife married by Krishna. So we heard the whole story about Krishna's, how he had the child Prajumna and what happened and how he went away. 
But during this time, of course, while Prajumna was away, Krishna married many other wives. His first wife was Rukmini, and then the second wife is Satyabhama. So we'll hear the next chapters we're going to hear about the Shamantaka Jo and how Krishna gets his second wife, Satyabhama. So this is the end of the 55th chapter of Prajumna, born to Krishna and Rukmini. Okay. So any questions? Yes, two questions, Ramaraj. Yogi Tamataji, you can go ahead. Thank you, Mother. Hare Krishna Gurudev, please have some humble obeisances. All course to you, Gurudev, and Shila Prabhupada. Gurudev, I want to ask, um, since uh, Pradyumna also looks a lot like Lord Krishna, but I thought only Uddhava looks like Lord Krishna. So who is more from, more most like Lord Krishna? Is it Pradyumna or Uddhava? We're saying this is about Prajumna. Prajumna is the son of Krishna and Rukmini. Uddhava is a great devotee. He had achieved uh, Swarupya Mukti. One of the five, there's one, of, there's five kinds of liberation and one of the liberation is where you get bodily features like the Lord. So Uddhava had bodily features like the Lord because he had achieved that kind of liberation. <laughs> Uddhava would wear the old clothes of Krishna and he would wear the, the flower garlands of Krishna. He would decorate himself in all of these things. So, yeah, he did look like Krishna because he had achieved that kind of liberation. But when the gopis, when he went to Vrindavan, when the gopis saw him, they knew he wasn't Krishna, but they knew he was a friend of Krishna because he looked so much like Krishna. So yes, yeah, you know, if anybody gets that Swarupya Mukti, they'll look like Krishna. And Krishna has many sons. Many sons, they will all look like Krishna. Krishna Gamilu, yeah, like a two point two, Krishna. All right, Kurte. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, so we have some other hands up there. Yes, you are. Please accept my humble obeisance. All glories to Prabhupada. Hare Krishna, 
มาตาจีนใช่ค่ะคําถามของผมมาจากคําถามของเหล่ามาตาจีในเมื่อวันจันทร์นะครับเกี่ยวกับพระศิวะผมสงสัยเกี่ยวกับไกลาดที่พระศิวะประทับนะครับว่าไกลาดที่อยู่โลกที่เหนือกว่ากับไกลาดที่อยู่ในทิเบตไกลาดที่อยู่ในทิเบตมีความสัมพันธ์อย่างไรกับพระศิวะแล้วพระศิวะประทับอยู่ที่นั่นไหมครับ uh, so his question is regarding the uh, Lord Shiva story the Kailas that uh, the Kailas in this material world and the Kailas in the spiritual world is the Kailas in Tibet is where Lord Lord Shiva stayed there or where he stayed Mm-hmm. Well, there's no kailash in the spiritual world, but there's a kailash between the material world and the spiritual world. It's not totally in the spiritual world. It's between the two. ก็ไม่ไม่ได้อยู่ในโลกทิพย์เลยแต่ว่าอยู่ระหว่าง and they say that uh, Kailash is somewhere in the in the Himalayas and maybe that part of the mountains I think it's in China I'm not sure some people go into China there's a place where they go to see the place of Lord Shiva in China I don't know if that is Kailash ไม่แน่ใจว่าไคลาสที่พูดถึงเนี่ยอยู่อยู่ฝั่งแนวทางประเทศจีนหรือเปล่า I think you have to go into into Tibet เราต้องไปจากฝั่งทิเบตซีจังซีจังซีจังอ่าซีจัง You want to go there? You want to go there? I want to go there. I want to go there. I don't have any thoughts to go there. But I can see the people of the Lord Shiva go there with the people of the Lord Shiva. He himself has not much interest to go there. But he sees the Lord Shiva followers Or the Buddhist followers, they like to go there. Yes, right. The Buddhist followers also like to go there because it said something. But the, generally, the people of, who follow Shiva, they will go to the place like Banaras. And Banaras is a famous Shiva temple there. And some other people will go to Kathmandu. In Kathmandu, there's a famous Shiva temple there in Nepal, Kathmandu. ก็จะมีคนคนที่ไปที่นั่นกันก็มีมีชาวพุทธจะไปด้วยแล้วบางทีชาวพระศิวะเนี่ยก็จะไปที่แถวเอ่อกัดมันดูกันหรือว่าอ
อันนั้นเนี่ยคือพระเมตตาที่แท้จริงของพระศิวะวิสิตอัฟเทนเนฟอลลูเวอร์สของลอร์ดชิวะและเนบูดิสเดียร์บอทเอทิอัสเดียร์นอนเบลีฟในพระเจ้าเราเห็นได้ว่านักปฏิบัติตาของพระศิวะหรือว่าชาวพุทธเนี่ยจะไม่จะไม่เชื่อในรูปลักษณ์ไม่ไม่เชื่อในพระเจ้าค่ะ But Lord Shiva himself, he is a great devotee of the supreme, of the supreme Lord. He is a devotee. He is a Vaishnava. แต่ตัวพระศิวะเองเนี่ยเป็นวิชนาวะผู้ยิ่งใหญ่เป็นสาวผู้ยิ่งใหญ่ Lord Shiva has his own sampradaya. พระศิวะเนี่ยมี sampradaya ของท่านเอง Lord Shiva does many services for on behalf of the Supreme Lord. Some, some people think Lord Shiva only helps at the time of destruction. When he destroys, he, he will do a dance which will cause the destruction of all the lower planets in the universe. บางคนคิดว่าพระศิวะเนี่ยช่วยในการทำลายล้างอย่างเดียว But Lord Shiva is also active at the time of creation. He carries the glands which impregnates all the living entities into the material nature. แต่ซึ่งความจริงเนี่ยตอนแรกพระศิวะทรงช่วยในการสร้างด้วยตอนแรกเนี่ยการทอดพระเนตรมาเนี่ยพระศิวะจะเป็นผู้ที่สืบสืบเนตรนั้นเนี่ยมาจนมองไปที่ปรากฏการณ์ของธรรมชาติวัตถุให้ธรรมชาติวัตถุเนี่ยตั้งขันธ์ and Lord Shiva also he helps in time of maintenance sometimes some demons are disturbing Lord Shiva will come and kill the demons แล้วก็บางครั้งเนี่ยมีเหล่ามาเนี่ยมาก่อควนมากมายพระศิวะก็จะมามาสังหาร So Lord Shiva does wonderful services on behalf of the Supreme Lord. It is said, Lord Krishna, he gave a blessing to Lord Shiva, and the blessing is that the devotees of Lord Shiva would be more than Krishna's devotees. แล้วกิชนาก็ทรงให้พรกับพระศิวะว่าสาวกของเจ้าเนี่ยจะเยอะกว่าสาวกของข้า So in the Shri Mat. ถ้าไม่มีอะถ้าไม่มีจงวันที่ฟังยินยาไม่เอาเรื่องเกณฑ์นี้ฟังนี่ Just hey Archana Yes Guru Maharaj Nobody is translating Chinese Oh Oh Um, Gorangi Maji, can you speak? Gorangi, who is that? Oh, maybe she need to choose the Chinese translation, Guru. Uh, Guru, she needs. She need to choose the Chinese translation. Ah, you want to hear Chinese? You want to hear Chinese? You want to hear Chinese? You can hear Chinese. You want to hear Chinese? 有有有，我们翻译英文，我们也翻译中文。你需要自己选择中文，要听中文。OK。OK， I was telling in the Srimad Bhagavatam， there's a battle， there's a, a conflict between the followers of uh, the followers of Daksha。And the followers of Lord Shiva. Now, Daksha is a prajapati, and he was doing yagya, but he had an argument with Lord Shiva. So they cursed each other. The followers of Daksha—they're all like brahmanas, 
and they cursed the followers of Lord Shiva that they would all be atheists. And then the the um the fo the followers of Lord Shiva they cursed the followers of Daksha that they would just do dull rituals. So both curses are in effect today. The Bra Bra Brahmanas are just busy doing dull rituals with no meaning. And, and the followers of Shiva are often just atheists. Okay, yeah. Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. All, all glories to Srila Prabhupada. Uh, my question is uh, in Srimad Bhagavatam uh, 1.3.34. In um, Purport, Srila Prabhupada said the same energy acts as uh, Lord's external, internal, and marginal energies. And the question is. If the energy is divided into three, which energy is the original? Because I thought the uh, internal energy is uh, the original. They're all eternal energies. They're all eternal. But the internal energy is the spiritual potency. So the spiritual potency that does not go undergo uh, changes like the material energy. Material energy sometimes it's manifest and sometimes it's not. And the living no. the living entities sometimes they're they're in the material world and sometimes they're absorbed into Mahavishnu and they have to wait for the creation again. So some sometimes they don't have a body. But energy is eternal. It's just sometimes it's manifest, sometimes it's not. Okay. Shaya has a question? Yes. Please accept my humble obeisances. All glory to Srila Prabhupada. Um, อย่างเงี้ยเค้าเป็นพาร์ทนึงของปรากิตติหรือว่าดูรากาหรือเปล่าคะเอ่อมายาวัตถีใช่มั้ยคะใช่ค่ะที่เป็นภรรยาของภร
คนละคนอืมแล้วทําไมเขาถึงมีพลังอํานาจทางมายาอะไรอย่างเงี้ยคะให้ครูมาแล้วเราให้ฟังเลยได้ไหมคะ and how come she have the power of uh, mahamaya or she know the maya sakti like that much well because she was she's not she's a wife remember she's the wife of a great demigod จำได้ไหมคะว่าเขาเนี่ยเป็นภรรยาของสาวของเทวดาผู้ยิ่งใหญ่ so she has some powers Just to, just to be in that association, it see it happened that she was with uh, oh, when her husband got burned and he lost his body, then she 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 was serving the Lord and. No, she was serving somebody. She was some with some dem. Oh, she was with Indra, serving Indra, the demigod king Indra, the dem. And she was there, and this demon somehow came there, and he saw her, and he was attracted by her, and he wanted her. He wanted this woman, m a y a v a t i He wanted her. Me, k r a m e n t h i l o k s a w a n t พระอินนางเนี่ยก็ทําการรับใช้รับใช้พระอินอยู่แล้วก็มารตอนนี้เนี่ยจะได้มาเห็นกันนามาเห็นนางแล้วก็แบบว่าจะชอบนางอยากจะได้นะ But they they told her no it's okay you go with him he won't harm you so she used her power she had power she could control the demon's mind so that the demon would would not bother her he never disturbed her he never tried to enjoy her And she would just cook rice and dal there. She didn't, you know. She wasn't. Although she was in the kitchen, she was just cooking rice and dal. And and they told her, "You wait there, and your husband will be coming there after some time." ไม่มีความรู้สึกอะไรแบบไม่ได้แบบว่าอยากว่าเดี๋ยวสามีของนางจะมาที่นี่ก็ให้นางแบบว่าอยู่ที่นั่นไปนางก็ทําแกงดอนแล้วก็ทํากับข้าวให้มาตัวนี้ไป Okay thank you Guru Maharaj for your answer Hare Krishna I guess there is a question in chat box Guru Maharaj in really? Chinese Really Oh yes Guru m a n i Uh, Guru Mani n i k a n you can you can read the chat box. y o u there's a question there. Okay, Guru Mataji. Oh, oh Mataji. Uh, I. Oh, one minute. Uh, Mataji, can anybody read chat in English? Hmm. Oh. Difficult, I think. But Because let me see. I don't know. We can't hear her. <laughs> can't hear her. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> no. Guru Mani, you have to read it for us. Come on. She uh, she paid obeisance to lotus feet and all devotees. She tried to uh, improve the, her relationship relationship with her colleagues. Uh, she tried to be friendly with them. Who? This devotee, but uh, then she felt uncomfortable, uh, and in her heart she felt uh, disturbed. Uh, sometimes uh, her uh, she felt headache. She tried to not to speak, to keep silent. She her question is that how can uh, what should be her mood 
in dealing with her colleague, how can she protect herself and at the same time to make the uh, make her colleague comfortable? But what's she doing that which makes her colleagues uncomfortable? Mm, and she didn't say. <laughs> Then how, how can we help her? We don't know. She just said that she tried to improve her relationship with them. Uh, she tried to show friend, show her friend, uh, show them that she is friendly with them. Mm -hmm. They also accepted but in her heart, she felt fearful, and she felt the, her mind changed, and she she she's not comfortable. No, oh. oh, this is what you typed for us, is it? Uh, she typed the Chinese question in the chat. Who who translated it? I see the English is there, in the chat. English is uh, other others question, others uh, comment. Is it? Uh, oh yes, yes. This is uh, her translation. Yes, yes. That's it. Mm -hmm. I try to change the relationship with my colleagues. Try to be friendly and cooperative. The closeness and friend. I expressed to them, they also felt very natural and accepted. But I was very scared in my own heart. I felt the change in my mind and my heart was chaotic and my heart was uncomfortable. I tried to keep myself silent. What kind of attitude should I have to protect myself and make others feel comfortable? <laughs> well, if you're trying to just if you're trying to be natural and make people feel comfortable, that's go, that goes a long way. Just your own efforts to want to be uh, cooperative and to be friendly with them, certainly that will help. Hmm. You have to accept that working with people, sometimes not everyone will be friendly. People have their own problems at home. Maybe your situation is very different from theirs. Maybe they're married people, and maybe you're not married. I don't know. There's many different reasons, problems. You can't understand everybody's mind when they're at home. They, they bring, come to work, they have their problems from their home. You don't know. So, you know, just do your job and try to be natural. Yeah. Talk about 
talk about how, how difficult it is to be in the material world and talk about your problems, maybe they'll be happy to know that you're having problems also. If, if they think you're very happy and they're miserable, they'll be envious of you. Okay, Hare Krishna. Are there any other questions there, Archana? No more, Guru No more. Okay, so yes. did did you want to have the? I saw you want to have nectar of devotion on Thursday, not Friday. Yes, Guru Maharaj. Is that okay with you? We can try. So we, we have to announce it tonight. Huh? We should tell. Yes. It's going to yes, start Guru. tomorrow. Yes, Guru So. Uh, yeah. So we'll have Guru class. Maharaj. We'll have class tomorrow instead of Friday. We'll have class Monday and Thursday, and yes. not Monday and Friday. Uh, okay, so thank Arjuna, thank Gurmani, thank all the devotees, Hare Krishna, Pogain Prongi, see you tomorrow, Ming Tian Jian, Hare Krishna. Thank you. Thank you.